Hi friends, uh, this is Bharat on behalf of Systemics Club. Uh, so we will be discussing today a very interesting topic and in fact a very easy topic. Uh, so for that, uh, what we need is uh, I framed uh, data, I found data from the internet. This is a, this is a, this data is regarding uh, the employees of five different states by, uh, in the US. Okay, so we have totally some say some yeah around 600 6366 full time workers from different states uh, ohio etc and for that we have the number of works uh, number of hours worked by each employee the education in number of years of each employee uh, their yearly earnings their race whether they are male or female and their uh, usual weekly earnings as well as their state in which they are working in so with this data we will see how to convert this unorganized data into something meaningful data. So you know uh, with this data uh, we can't infer anything uh, by saying just at this. How can we infer, uh, infer something from this data? Excel gives us a very useful tool called pivot tables. So today we will be discussing pivot tables with the help of some of the questions which we will be answering. So uh, what I want from this data? Yeah. First thing is, what is the average yearly earnings of the employees in each state? So, for each state, what is the average monthly, uh, average yearly earnings? For this, I need to use a pivot table, which makes me, which makes things very easier, and I can just uh, give the answer within seconds. Let's see how to use a pivot table now. I'll go to insert, click pivot table. So I need to uh, take the range of this table. So for that. Yeah, what I'll do is take only the headers as well as the data. Do not take any other information. Now to go select the entire information, entire table, go shift, control, down arrow. The entire table gets selected. Yes. And I'll get the pivot table in a new worksheet. Okay. Yes. I got the pivot table where I got the headings here. Uh, that is usual works. Um, usual works, uh, hours work, education, yearly earnings, race and what are the headers present in the data? All the headers all the headers were present uh, in the pivot table as well. So if I want to create a table, I will just drag and drop into this rows. Now what I will do is, I will, uh, what is the question? Average yearly earnings of employees in each state. So what I will do is, I will take the state into the rows. I got the states here. Now I will take yearly earnings into values. Yeah. So I got uh, some of the yearly earnings of uh, employees in each state. But what I want is average. How can I get the average now? So I will right click, go to value field settings, click average. Okay. So now you got average of. Uh, of, of the employees in Illinois as well as the other states and their average of uh, yearly earnings. So in order to look uh, this data much better, go to value field settings, uh, go to number format and this is currency right. So we need to get in dollars, I am selecting currency. I am removing this uh, decimal places, Yeah, click ok. You know this is much organized data. So this is the total average of the yearly earnings of all the employees yearly and these are for the respective states. Now what else do we require? So my first question is answered yearly earnings of the employees in each state and then classify the average yearly earnings uh, according to the state uh, according to the sex as well as race for each individual state. So for this what will you do? What I will do? Uh, yeah. I'll uh, take a filter. I'll drop sex into filter. So now, if I want only male data, I'll get male data. So the average of, for example, if you see all, is just thirty-seven thousand. If you take only male, it is forty-four thousand. Which means that uh, males' average is much more higher than that of females. And if you want to see female data. It is just 28,000. So these are the inferences which you can make very easily uh, with the help of these Excel tools. So now, uh, 
also I'll take race into the filters column. So if I want to know what is the what, uh, performance of only Asian people, I'll get the performance of only Asian people. If I want to know the performance of only white people, I'll get to know the performance of only white people. So our second question is also answered. So what is the third question? What is the count of employees uh, of from each of the states? Okay. For in order to know the count of the employees, what I'll do is uh, I'll take the yearly earnings again into these values. So again another column is formed. But now I'll take again go to value field settings. Uh, and this time I'll take the count, not the average. Okay. So now I got the division of uh, the number of people. Uh, in order to be more clear, uh, I'll I'll change this number of employees. So number of employees in each states. I got this is the total number of employees, which is six three six six, and these are the employees in each each state. So, what is the next question? Next question, give a distribution of yearly earnings of, uh, by education. Yearly earnings by education, okay. Now, I will take another pivot table. Uh, go to insert, pivot table. Again, as usual, select your table. I am selecting my table. Yes, in a new worksheet. Yes, in a new worksheet. So, here what do I need? I will take yearly earnings distribution by education okay so what i need is yearly education uh, yearly earnings that i'll put it in rows but you know uh, there are around 6000 6000 dot uh, rows i can't give uh, the distribution for all of them so what i'll do is i'll group them for that again right click uh, there is an option called group yeah here what it says is from the starting point to the ending point it will group by 1 lakh each so there are 49 lakhs so uh, by yeah yeah click ok we have 4, uh, four lakhs 4 lakhs odd people and it is yes it is grouped into uh, these groups now it is very uh, useful for me to categorize data now what I need is by education yeah now what I will do is I'll take education. Where is education? Yeah, education in columns. So I got education, and now I'll take yearly earnings in values. You know, I got the count now. So what it says is there are totally 147 people uh, from uh, who has eight years of education and who are earning a salary yearly salary of zero to 1 lakh 0 to 99,999. Similarly, there are 49 people with 9 years of work, uh, 9 years of education, and uh, who falls in the same bracket. Similarly, for everyone. Now, if I want to know for each state, what I'll do, I'll apply filters again. So, now if you want to know the information of only Illinois, then it is this. These are, this is the total data. And if I want to know only about Michigan, it is this. So if I want to know about all, yeah, it is again all. So this is how you can categorize. So for uh, more uh, data, I'll take filters of race as well as sex. So now if I want to know only male people in a particular state, that is uh, Indiana, and in a, of a particular race, that is Asians. So this is the information which I get. So if I want to know people in Illinois, yeah. This is this is the data I get. So this is how you can really make some meaningful data from the raw data which is available. So pivot tables help us in almost everyone's um, every, every data which we use. So as I've told, this tool is extremely easy and extremely useful. In fact, it will be useful. I can ensure you that every one of us will be using uh, this pivot tables in their internships. So try to make uh, some more exercises and practice some of the exercises so that it will be very useful and in fact there are many other features also in this which you can use. Uh, once you start using this you will understand this. So that's it for now. Thank you very much.